Come on into the ditch. I'm your resident ditch witch, Tara Tyne, and today it's property. So as many of you already know, I am looking for a home for myself to live in. I have notice to move out of this place in July. With the nest egg I have, I'm going to see how far I can stretch it, basically, and try and get myself a property, like any property, within my budget of about 20 to 25 grand. Now that's not including the credit that I can access. I did a bit of digging since my last video and it turns out that I have a little bit of leeway as far as that's concerned. We're not talking big mortgage or anything like that, but it means I can stretch my budget to about two, two and a half times what I was originally looking at. So. What I've decided to do today, I'm going to film this video in two parts. Right now, I have my trusty laptop here in front of me and we're going to do a little bit of house shopping. So I'm going to show you the website. If you're not actually from Ireland, but you're looking for property here, I'm going to show you the website that we use and just give you a bit of an introduction to how it works really and the kinds of things that you can easily look out for on just a quick search through that site. So let's just get the screen up here now to show you. Okay, so this is Daft. This is the website, basically the only website that is used for house hunting in Ireland. That's both for buying and renting. There are others, but in the majority of cases, bar maybe with some regional variation, you'll find that any property which makes it onto other websites is probably also here on Daft. So I've already filtered this down a little bit to a 50k max just to widen it up beyond 25. You can set it at 25, but I checked that earlier and there's only one property up there at the minute. It's an apartment and 25,000 is the starting price for auction. The other filters I have chosen here are detached house and minimum two bedrooms. So we start off there. County Limerick, you've got Limerick City there, so that's probably, maybe that has something to do with the higher price, but it's a, uh, it's very, very basic, you know. It needs complete overhaul, and yeah, as you may already be aware, I suppose one of the real values of this property is that it appears to have been built before 1976, and what that means is that you can basically just replace that house without planning permission as far as I understand it. So a lot of these cottages that you know aren't habitable and are a long way from ha habitable will still cost a lot of money for that reason. And as you've heard me mention before we are competing with developers here as well so you'll have a lot of developers coming in and buying these up in lots just because they're cheap. So this here is um I mean it looks a bit of a fright but it's uh, it looks like it's got a really good location. Wow is my internet being slower or are those pictures just really big? It's like dial up all over again. <sighs> Old people joke. Wow, do I get that amazingly precarious shed as well? I kind of want the precarious shed. I mean, it looks like it would come down in the next windstorm, but but that only makes it more interesting. Okay, so County Roscommon, another inland county here, which I'm not totally biased. I always said that I would much prefer to live by the coast. But honestly, after 15 years in the rental market, I would live in a cardboard box if I knew it wasn't going to be sold out from under me. Oh, and wow, you've got lakes nearby. Or a lake, at least. One really big one. That's really beautiful. Yeah, so inside you can see it needs a lot of work. I mean, this isn't, this isn't a good look. This is probably... You know, a lot of damp, a lot of stuff that needs, oh yeah, replacing. I mean, 
will gotten it even do the job here it looks very very affected by damp so that'd be something i'd really be watching out for um you know there's not a lot that can't be worked with there's not a lot that can't be fixed but with damp you need to be super super careful just that it hasn't kind of done sort of irreversible damage that it isn't going to be something you're actually just going to have to knock down and replace in the end but I suppose that really means having an engineer come out and check out things like that I presume so sale agreed oh look at this oh look at this oh my god three and a half acres with that and look at the stone here on the side of the house i actually just want to click straight into that stone wall oh look at it oh wow you can really feel the age of the place oh my god it's just gorgeous it's so witchy and i wonder does this outhouse come as part of it because obviously I need about 17 outhouses. Oh, and you've got, oh, so it's like forest. And there's donkeys. <laughs> I love donkeys. Oh, and they could be friends with my goats that I'm gonna get. Ruhan, is that what that's called? Wow, and it's like really far from anything, which is kind of perfect for me honestly that's that's what i want i'm not really a city kind of girl you know i like the laid back country life i know people think that the city is where it's happening but if you want to experience some real magic and weirdness you gotta get out of the sticks once in a while what is this park's castle See, the area even has a castle. It's got, oh, it's got everything I need to make a ditch witch very happy. Take my money. How do I get this house? Wait, come back. And Sligo. And Sligo is actually a coastal county. Okay, so here, here is the devil's in the detail, and here he is. So the property currently has no services. Though it did have connections to the grid in the past, so that means it would probably be quite easy to get electric hook up, hooked up to it again. Although it doesn't mean that you're not going to have to replace all the wire and you, you probably are, to be honest. And it doesn't have a septic tank, so that's a big problem. From what I understand, they run at uh, thousands to put into a property that doesn't already have one and the other thing that would really need to be checked at that property is whether or not you'll get planning permission to add the septic tank because it doesn't come as a given that you're going to be able to do that once you own the property there is a local water scheme in the area and a two inch plastic pipe has been run along the lane but was never connected Okay, so that doesn't sound like too, too big a job. It seems like something that could be quite easily done. But again, you'd really need to get in and have a look, you know. The cottage is south facing. Oh, cozy. Towards the clearing, so it is nestled in a very warm and sunny spot. Oh, take my money. Just take my money and give me a house. Oh, the property has a very long driveway, partially tree-lined. That makes it harder for people to sneak up on me. To the left of the driveway is the larger plot of land, which in total for the entire plot is about three and a half acres. The land is of decent quality. It would be ideal for a small holding or for those interested in self-sustainable living or living off-grid. Oh, this unique setting offers many possibilities. With a bit of creativity, the right person could create something very idyllic. Me, I could. I'm the right person. <laughs> It is a little bit worrying that there are no pictures of the inside of the house, but do you know what? I'm gonna put it on the list because part two of this video is me ringing all of the estate agents just to see what happens basically to uh, learn about the system and how it actually goes down when it comes to buying a house in Ireland these days. 
Okay, and another property in County Sligo here. Now this looks like a lot more of a fixer upper, but at least I can see inside, actually. I mean, it looks solid enough. Well, I don't know what's going on here. It does look like some damp. I can't tell if that's all damp. I do like the idea of it. Although I kind of have it in my head that two stories means twice the money to renovate. Am I wrong there? Are there any of you watching who have renovated properties in the past and know whether there's much of a difference in renovating a two-story property? I think maybe I feel a little bit intimidated by owning a place with a second floor. Tell me down in the comments. Is it really twice the problems or... Are you kind of just spending a heap of money either way? Okay, and then, wow, what's going on here? Okay. Look at those really narrow, very old looking stairs. I kind of love those. Although carting an amp up and down them steps, not fun. Oh, look, look at this. This is some really good old fashioned detailing in there and all your, this kind of dresser style built in shelving thing. And look, there's some Bridget's Cross. Okay, oh, love it. It's really nice actually. It's very solid looking. Look at that ceiling. It has an energy saver bulb in it, so somebody has been using this place quite recently. Wow, it actually seems to be very solid. Look at this. Okay, right. Oh, and that's quite a sizable plot as well. I mean, I don't necessarily need three and a half acres. And it might end up proving to be quite a lot to maintain if I also have to renovate the house that I'm trying to live in. So I'm not necessarily looking for something that has a lot of land attached to it. I definitely do need some outdoor space and I suppose it's a case of the more I have, the more I'll use. But let's see if I can find out. Okay, so this is on just over a half acre site. Ah, uh, and again, it has no septic tank, water or electricity. So, I mean, the fact that it clearly has had electricity, I think what they just mean is that it's currently disconnected, but could be connected again, maybe without too much hassle. But again, the septic tank and the water. So you're talking drilling a well. Oh, stall the ball. Stall the ball. What is going on here? Look, look at the wallpaper peeking out from behind this beigeness. I mean, this looks like a club room from the 1990s, but this, this is like, Tara, buy me. That panel ceiling, like that looks quite new. Okay, we've got a little bit of damp here at the back door that's quite easily sorted once you replace the door or front door possibly. Jesus Mary and Joseph tonight, as me nanny would have said. Like what the hell? It looks like... It looks like something caved in. What caved in? We don't have basements as a general rule of thumb in Ireland so I have no idea how the entirety of the outside ground somehow ended up in here. Is this maybe holding the roof up? Like what, what is going on? Wow. I kind of, I kind of want to know more. Wow, oh my God. Like, let's be real, okay? Ivy growing in your window like that. Probably not the best sign, but ivy growing in your window like that is a sign that it's meant to be. <laughs> I mean, the aesthetic, like, you know? 
God. Get some of those nice cream kitchen tiles going on in here. You know, paint these for mica things cream as well or something. And before you know it, you've got an aesthetic. Look at this. Is this fakey marble stuff going on here? I just, you know what? This house has suckered me in. Look at this. Ivy growing in the ventilation thing as well. What is this? The cloakroom? The bar? It looks like the place where you rent out your pitch and put gear. This is amazing. What is this? What am I looking at? Maybe they had a shop. Oh, do you reckon there was? Yeah, actually, this could be a shop. Although, why the sink? Why the sink? I'm so intrigued. I, I need to know what's going on at this property. Okay, it's wild and... Uh, Jesus, how many rooms does it have? And they're all different primary colours. Like, look at this. Look at the thumbnails down the side. I actually make it look almost attractive. Okay, is this is this what we were looking at here? Is that, you know, did somebody remove a house or a lean-to? Or what's going on there? What's that all about? And am I getting that entire property for this price? What is... What's happening? It does appear as though I am, and I mean, God, some people would make that into two houses. Okay, we might have to put this one on the list too, just out of sheer curiosity. <laughs> okay, we've got a floor plan here too. Bedroom one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm putting it on the list. Where was that? In County Cavan actually, and that's considerably closer to where I currently live than a lot of these other places are. So, and Cavan is also a great county for lakes. Oh, clues in the name, Tara. It was a post office. Why the sink though? Maybe it was one of those situations where the post office also sold like sandwiches. That happens a lot in Ireland. Okay, so obviously the situation is that I'm looking to balance out the cost of renovations with the cost of the property because I am going to need enough money to put in basic services so that I can live there whilst I'm renovating. So I'm either looking for somewhere that sort of has all its basic services and so I just have the money spare for renovating or a place that has most of the basic services and needs a little bit more renovating. Okay, so here we're at Kilchamach. You've got Kilchamach Amenity Park out the back. I wonder are they including that as a selling point or because it would limit restrictions. What is this? Plans. Why are there plans? What's going on here? Development description consists of to demolish existing dwelling house and storage shed and construct new four bedroom dwelling house and domestic garage along with ancillary site works. I don't understand why that is a situation. You know, and then if you demolish it are you definitely going to get permission to replace it? Look, that looks like it is beyond the scope of what it is that I'm looking to do and not nearly rural enough anyway. So I'm just kind of clicking into anything that is vaguely interesting me here because, you know, even if it's not suitable for me, maybe somebody watching this might be interested. If the photographer for the estate agent isn't going to go inside, then either am I. kind of want to go to an online auction just to see what happens. I've been to one in-person auction for a house before. But it's a very, very, very long time ago. But I'm, I'm a little bit nervous going in. I kind of feel like they can sp spot the hippie, you know. And then my imposter syndrome kicks in. Sorry if the camera move there my battery died so then we've got this place in cavan i've seen this a few times when i've been searching 
I mean, to me it looks like it used to be a guard of Arix. Love this little electric space heater down here. Oh, and a shot of it in the dark, just in case I wanted to know. <laughs> yeah, these cut wires all over the place aren't really filling me with confidence. I mean, it does appear to have some wiring. Yeah, wow. Okay, so that's a lot of damp. That's a lot of damp. That house is... Oh, wow, yeah, okay. So this tape and the holes in the floor, you know, this is probably a pretty good example of why two floor buildings just seem like they might be a bit more hassle than they're worth sometimes. You know, you don't want to go for your viewing or worse still have just bought the place and then your foot goes through the floor. That's, um... Oh, uh, this is nice though. I like that real <laughs> nice and light airy feel in there. Sort of cozy art gallery vibe. I could get down with that. Look, lovely wooden presses built in and all. Yeah, I really dig the cottage vibe, you know, in a lot of these houses. When I was younger, I always thought about building a place in straw bale because I didn't know anything about planning permission. As I've gotten older, I've gotten a little bit more realistic. I've started looking a little bit more into vernacular Irish architecture because it's probably a lot more likely that I'm going to end up, hopefully, purchasing a place like this and renovating rather than just knocking it down and starting again. I just, there's no point really in looking at a place where you'd have to replace out the whole second floor. And it's a big building too, so I feel like that would end up costing me a lot more than I can afford. Oh yeah, and that's the starting price for auction as well, so it's definitely going to end up way out of my price budget. But for anyone that's watching that doesn't mind getting their teeth stuck in and has the budget for it, you know, the place has character. I'll give it that. Now, let me see a place at 35. Leitrim has the smallest coastline in all of Ireland, just in case you were wondering. If you buy a house in Leitrim, there's a very, very good chance that it's going to be quite far from the sea, especially if you're buying a place really cheap like this. I'm guessing just by the price of it that it's further inland, but I don't actually know. Yeah, this looks as though there has been a fire here at some point. Yeah, you've got beams down. That's a lot of structural stuff. That's that's a, a big project. I mean, I don't know. You tell me what you think. I mean, there's a chance I'll already have called up estate agents by the time you see this video. But I want to know your thoughts anyway. I wouldn't expect that those uh, conditional bids would actually go anywhere. It's just more a learning curve for me to see what happens when I try to put some money down, you know? So do tell me if you know anything about renovating property. What do you think of some of the more difficult looking projects on here? 35 in County Mayo. Again, another coastal county, but a very, very big coastal county. And there's no reason to believe that you'd be near the coast, especially with a price tag that small. Oh, wow. I probably wouldn't keep that wallpaper and mahogany combo, but I would, I would keep both. I would just keep them away from each other. <laughs> or maybe not, I don't know. Is this wallpaper historic? It definitely looks mid-century to me and I'm all in for that retro stuff, you know. Somebody's granny put that wallpaper up there and said, that's it there now, that's smashing looking. Though I reckon I'd have that fireplace out of there pretty quick. That looks like a 70s or 80s job there and it's, it's kind of upsetting. Okay, so... You know, this is, I mean, it's its dank looking at the minute, but I wouldn't be put off by things like that because 
really just what you've got is a blank canvas. Like I really love this stove area in here. This is fabulous. I don't know if that's an actual agar or not, but it does look like one. And again, you've got your mid-century cheery curtains with, um, what are they? Probably like chrysanthemums all over it. I'm willing to bet money that that's linoleum on that floor. I can smell lino a mile away. And this looks as though that porch has been added on later. Okay. Is that water on the floor or is that floor at two different levels? What's going on there? I can't really tell. It's hard to see. It looks like we've got some rising damp, but this doesn't frighten me now half as much as the other ones. But then is rising damp the worst one? Oh, I don't know. I need your help, people. How much will drywalling do for me here? But I do really like that property. It's it's kind of calling to me. It's got that quirky sort of vibe to it. It feels very peaceful. It's got outhouses too, by the looks of it. Now, somebody's storing his bales here, so you'd need to check out if that's... Um, like, boundary lines can be quite blurry here when parts of a farm or farmland are being sold off. Uh, sometimes parts of the property that look like they're going to belong to you are actually being used by somebody else and they might have legal entitlement to it so those are the kinds of things you'd need to check out but to be honest that wouldn't be a deal breaker for me I'm very prepared to make deals with any farmer who wants to sell me a portion of his land being a big fan of permaculture, you know, people care is a part of that and I'd be the sort of person when I move to a new community I would try my best to make myself a useful part of that community because to me that's really one of the greatest things about life. The meaning of life, if you will. Don't forget to tune back in for more uh, meaning of life and property tips with me, your resident ditch witch, Tara Tyne. It's all happening here. Okay, so I'm gonna write that one down. That's another one in County Mayo. I'm actually loving all the properties in these coastal counties. I thought it was almost definitely going to be inland. Okay, so before I go calling estate agents for the next part of the video and the whole lot, I'm gonna have to look back through these. If I was being sensible, I would have noted down the things which the description hadn't mentioned so that I knew at a glance to ask the estate agent when I called. Now, I haven't done that. But if I've got five properties to do, it should take me 20 minutes just to run through and put together a list of questions on each one, call up the estate agents, ask the questions, and then maybe put down a conditional offer and see what happens after that. Okay, wow. So this place is... Wow, yeah, you've got great space there. Yeah, that has, that has quite a lot going for it. You can see here, yeah, in the background, there's a fair bit of damp, but again, might not be a deal breaker. Maybe I spoke too soon, I don't know. Is this a thing that can just be maybe knocked down and rebuilt? I reckon I could replace that with straw bales in a couple of days, no bother. Oh, this, what is going on here? BJ's. Okay, that's not a good look. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like the place is destroyed with damp. But it comes with a shed, and apparently it's gonna be full of hay. So that'll be handy for, you know, the goats or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna let that one slide for today, I think. Okay, and since there's nothing else there that at a glance looks like it's going to be immediately within my price range I will take my four properties that I have on a list and also we're just gonna have a wee go at this now because oh what be going on here look at that completely shrouded by trees that's my aesthetic just completely blocked in 
on the roadside of my house by trees. Okay, so the place is clearly in a bit of a shambles, but wow, look at that. I mean, that's some character. This looks like it might have been used as a schoolhouse or something. Aren't those the things that they used to use to divide up school rooms? You might have two classrooms on either side of that folding partition. And by the looks of this, am I getting this as well? So it's not massive, but God, you could do a lot with it. You could grow your vegetables. You know, get another cat or two, maybe. Let's just see what the description says about that. Yep, called it. This 1910 period property schoolhouse is looking for a new lease of life as a family or holiday home. It does have electricity and a well on site, which is great. That would cut down on the costs of hooking those up considerably. But not having a septic tank, are you going to get permission to put one in? That's the thing. And that's where I'm going to leave it on the property shop in front for today. I hope you've enjoyed this little scroll through Ireland's property market below the 50,000 budget mark. If you'd like to see me cover outside of this budget, like uh, things that are more expensive, I'm also open to doing that if there are people who want me to just look through the site for them and point out things that maybe you might know if you're not from Ireland, that kind of thing, because I really love property shopping. Um, it's been like a pretty intense hobby of mine for well over a decade now. Uh, so any excuse to do it at all is fine by me. Don't forget to tune in to part two of this video where I ring the estate agents about some of the properties that we've looked at today and actually taken a visit to the property and maybe also having an engineer check it out. So. So hit subscribe for more fun and property adventures. I usually upload on a Thursday and I've also begun uploading more frequently throughout the week as I have the spoons and the inspiration. So stick around if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon. Slán agus goodbye and good luck to you.